John is with us in Arrington, Virginia. Arlington, Virginia. I'm sorry. Hey, John, how are you? I'm doing good, sir. Thank you and Mrs. Cruz for uh, helping us. I appreciate that. Sure. How can we help? Uh, I'm having some trouble uh, cutting loose of uh, some money for a new-to-me truck. I've, uh, I went, you know, I always made plenty of money, and I always spent plenty of money, even better than I made it. And uh, I sort of got myself together, and now I've got the, I've got the money, and I, I'm just having a little bit of issue releasing it. It's, uh, it's kind of odd. Mm. How long ago was it that uh, s- since you had a spending problem? Uh, probably, uh, 2007. Um, and okay. then, you know, about a year ago, a friend of mine got in financial jeopardy and, uh, and I revisited a bunch of your work and, uh, I signed, uh, signed her up for the financial peace university and I, and I got the every dollar budget and I had to learn how to use it so that I could help her use it. And you might find this hard to believe, but your system was better than mine. So <laughs> <laughs> shocked <laughs> yeah, shocked I, I am know. If, if only there was a system to help people with their money uh, so, you're good so it, it got her it, how it much it, how much how is the truck how much is the truck the truck is a fortune it's fifty six thousand dollars it's six thousand dollars fifty six fifty six sir fifty six thousand dollars okay Fifty-six thousand dollars. Nice yeah. truck. Okay. Yeah. Thank and you. Um, you, might be, you might be familiar. It's a it's a Roush F one fifty. So you may yeah. be familiar with that. Yeah, I had one. I got a Roush Raptor now. So yeah, it's a God, be, it's no, a beast, man. It's a wonderful truck. All right. So what's your household income? Uh, about one sixty. Okay. And um, you you have the fifty six thousand. And how much other money do you have? What's your net worth? Um, I've got about 700 in a 401k and about uh, seven, uh, 70 in a other retirement. Okay. And my, my house is paid for. My house is paid for. Okay. Yeah, John, I think you're what's good. Your, what's your house worth? Uh, house worth about uh, uh, 475 right now. So you're a millionaire? I suppose, yeah. I don't know that I, yeah, yes. It's yeah, not a feeling, it's a math thing. thing. It's a math thing. It's not a feeling. Yeah. 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 700 plus 400 is 1.1. You're a millionaire. Yes, yes sir. Well yes, done. Sir. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank I mean, at much. this point, John, we it, it is funny, though, because as much as we push people to sacrifice their life to get out of debt and get their money in order, the moment that they have to release it, and even, I mean, you're much further along than even some people we talk to, but even people that are on, you know, starting baby steps four through six to be like, okay, we saved up money to go on a trip. Are we okay spending a couple thousand dollars on this trip? Like, oh, you know, it really does become this weird emotional thing that you you can let go of the money there, that the facts are there. <laughs> and for you, you're even further along than those people. I mean, your, your house is paid for, you're good. You have the cash in the bank. Your retirement's good. I mean, everything is lined up that you are 100% free to do this. And uh, it, it kind of takes some practice to kind of get that spending muscle back in, if you will, because well, it's like you haven't been using it as much. Yeah. And, and what you've told yourself is no one, you, you, you like extend it out to everybody. No one should ever spend that blah, 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 on a truck, right? Yeah, and then, and yeah, now yeah. you're the guy doing it, you know? <laughs> and so, but, yeah. uh, you know, but, but the thing is no one that's broke should. All right. So the way I analyze it nowadays is if I get ready to buy something that feels emotionally weird to me, um, and, and I've got, you know, I'm, you know, you got plenty of wealth. I got plenty of wealth. We're okay. We're doing good. All right. Is I ask myself if, if I, if the thing without any insurance just burned down in the driveway, would I still be okay financially? Right. Yeah. Your net worth would drop 0.05%. If you lost $56,000, it would be nothing. Yeah. You wouldn't even notice it out of a million two. Right? Yes, that's, that's right. And that's so right. that, that helps me always is like, you know, in other words, if I wanted to just set fire to that much money in the front yard just to watch it burn, it really wouldn't change my life. It'd be kind of strange, but it wouldn't change my life. They'd question my psychology, but uh, you know my, <laughs> we'd my, take him my off the radio. Sanity, he was doing but, that. But the old man has lost it. But yeah, but the uh, uh, but <laughs> he no longer has a radio show. <laughs> burning cash but, in the front yard. But yeah, one he's, he's out there burning cash in the front yard again. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but, but I mean, John, if, you, if you, you that's how I look at. It. I look at it emotionally like that. Have I hurt my family? Have I been as a ratio to my situation unwise? No, because if I could just burn that much cash in the driveway and it didn't bother me, uh, I mean, it didn't didn't affect my life, then I'm okay. And you're in that case, dude. I mean, fifty six thousand dollars. Go buy your truck. Thank you. Thanks. You guys do a lot of good, and uh, thank I, you. Uh, and I'll tell you one other thing I, I do know. as an antidote is uh, yeah. I always make sure that if I'm going to increase my spending, I also increase my generosity. Yes, sir. And that just gives me emotional permission. <laughs> no, okay. Well, <laughs> well, it does. Yes. But I was also going to say, it was interesting. One of the um, stories in the book I talk about is, um, it's actually, it was a family friend's, but that he was like, I mean, multimillionaire. And he sold his company and then went back and started working again. And, you know, I remember talking and being like, oh, okay, is that because you just didn't want to be bored or whatever? And he was like, no, 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 I just don't want to end up back where I was. I just don't want to end up back where I was. And I thought, well, that's so interesting because you're fine. But it's like this this, this fear of like, yeah, he oh, got I, like $10 million. So he's fine. Yes, totally, totally. But that was one of the antidotes I write about, though, is that giving aspect. It's true. Because if you're that kind of tight and scared to do this, you're probably that tight and scared to give and so yes i think you're exactly right playing off of that though it's like as you're spending more and your lifestyle increases so should your giving and it kind of just like opens up your heart in all those ways and it's percentages yeah. you know if you if you're if you increase your lifestyle five percent increase your giving five percent and you know and, and when you do five percent of a lot of money it's a lot of money right so you still get to do a lot of stuff mm-hmm. or if it's eight percent or twelve percent it doesn't matter but the point is is that you're not making $56,000 a year and have $110,000 in student loan debt and call me up wanting to lease a $56,000 truck, which is most of America, which is why we have a career. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's normal. America is just plain straight up money stupid. And so I've been there too. I know what stupid looks like. I've got a PhD in DUMB, so I can readily recognize it. John, you've done a great job. Very proud mm-hmm. of you, sir. Very, very proud of you.